Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast. We're coming to you live from the Bloomington Normal Hyperspace Trial. My co-host today is... Johannes Steber. The tournament organizer for the event. I also run the local scene around here. The local scene. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about these lists. Okay. Who would you want me to talk to first? Uh, that was a terrible transition. I know it was terrible. You are such I, a rookie. I am such a rookie. It's literally just. All right, I'll just do the we'll, we'll try. One. We'll try again. I can maybe edit. No, I won't edit this out. So we're going to break <laughs> we'll down just, some of these we'll lists. Just show, we'll just show how everyone bad I am at this. <laughs> All right. So on the right, we got Nick Tobin. He's running at Anakin and Obi Wan list. Um, Anakin has R2 Astromech, Delta 7B, and a shield upgrade. Obi Wan with supernatural reflexes, R2 Astromech. And Delta 7B. So basically, they're regening Jedi. Yep, regening Jedi. And on the left side, we got Nathan Knighty flying Darth Vader, Suterfell, and two Scimitar Squadron pilots. Um, we have the color coded green and pink. And looking at his setup over there, we're going to go ahead and recolor code them because I reset the overlay, which resets the color. So let's go ahead and do that. Green and number. A little more pink, a little less purple. Yeah. That's the color I like. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get the poll up here. We have plenty of time. These players are not going to engage for a while, I have a feeling. Um, one interesting thing, looking at Nick's setup, he set up, this is the first time he's done that setup that I've seen. I've seen him set, set up uh, he, all three of his games today, and I saw several yesterday when I was walking around. And uh, usually he was doing, you know, Jedi in both the corners, yep. pointing at 45 degrees, being, being able to have a choice of flank one and run with the other, yep. depending on the side. And uh, this time he set up in that, that right corner. Any ideas why? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with Vader and Sunter. Mm -hmm. They can run up and catch these Jedi. Mm -hmm. um, so to me, that's probably why more so than anything. Mm-hmm. Um, but who knows? Maybe Nathan has been watching a few games, and or it's the opposite way around. So they're trying to, you know, play it safe, trying to mess, change it up, make it make it harder for your opponent to mm -hmm. figure out what you're gonna do. All right, so that stream poll should be coming up now. One for Nathan, two for Nick. One is a vote for the Empire, and two is a vote for the Grand Republic. Vote Empire. <laughs> Sorry, I'm an Empire-biased person. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Supposed to be completely unbiased. No. No. Both, <laughs> he goes, both, he goes, nah. <laughs> both of these players are good friends of mine, so yeah. I, I'm, I'm up for either one of them winning. Who's going to win today? A friend's going to win today. That's what we know. Picture. Now, we do have some giveaways that are going to happen at the end of this game. We have the Plo Koon ship for the sub goal that we did hit, as well as some campaign against cancer keychain dice are going to be given away with that ship. We also have a couple cards and things that we need to grab. Super excited for that. So hang with us all the way to the final. Have your chance to get one of those Luke Car Carrington Even. painted ships. Super excited. Now, kind of using our previous knowledge of the, the games we've seen both Nathan and Nick played, you know, these Jedi like to be super tanky, excuse me, uh, super cagey. They are tanky because of the ability to have the focus modifiers with the force and also the force evade using that purple action. As well as, you know, they having the ability to move last which is why nick has what is this bid it's two points or no more than 100 uh, he's at 188 Ooh. yes so yeah so he's got it he's yeah <laughs> he very very aggressive uh he wants to make sure he's moving last to be out of those arcs and uh just just making sure that he has all that post maneuverability We have 614 people watching from around the world. Wow. Johannes, do you remember when I started doing this and it would oh, be like yes. 10 people watching? Yep. And now yep. now we, we've created, um, 
you know, just this awesome community. It's yes. fantastic. Yep, I was back when there was maybe 50, 60 players watching at max. Mm -hmm. So, I was always this close to being on stream. <laughs> this close. <laughs> I don't even actually think I've ever been on the Colts Club stream. Just not been that good. <laughs> Rango Fett in the chat talking about me building an empire. Listen, <laughs> you wonder why I haven't told you my middle name. It's right. Palpatine. That's 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 the reason why, guys. That's the secret, <laughs> secret sauce. My empire. <clears throat> All right. So, bombers staying to the inside there. Inside of range two of the board edge. <laughs> so looking at the chat uh, the chat poll we have with 83 votes in currently we have Nathan ahead 69% to 30% that's a pretty strong uh, yeah that's really strong pretty strong favorite there if you haven't voted in the chat I see you guys there on Twitch more than half of you guys are watching on Twitch right now um, go ahead and, and vote one or two. All right, soon tier going towards the top of the board. Probably going to see a barrel roll up here. See, you, Ethan, congrats, man. Good job. Congratulations. Now, with 112 minutes left in this uh, round, I will tell you to probably expect a little more casual mm -hmm. of, a, of a commentary than usual. There's going to be it's going to be a lot of slow turns. If you've never Thanks watched, on, if you've never watched um, a two-hour final. That actually goes to time. You understand it can be a grueling process, yes. and both of these lists, at least Nick, Nick wants it. He wants every minute. He does not want to be the aggressor. He wants to just take his shots when he can. Nick uh, is they're, they're going to be careful. Nick is whittling down. That's his goal. Is just plank till he gets ahead, and then he can play slightly more aggressive. Mm -hmm. But he's just going to do that. Minimal amount, get those bombers out of the way, and he's got a whole lot of breathing room. Oh, yeah. And that's that's, that's going to be his goal. It, it'll be how fast he can get those bombers down out of the way because that's just shots mm -hmm. coming towards him. And then when he gets to Sunter and Vader, he can easily then negate them because he's got all the, the maneuvering afterwards and all that stuff. I think our next... Uh stream poll <clears throat> here in a minute it's going to be an over under on how many minutes this game takes over under 75 minutes sure <laughs> <laughs> my guess is over <laughs> <laughs> well you're allowed to pull out your phone and vote when it's time <laughs> let me get it out ready <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be in first <laughs> there you go ha All right, with that poll pretty much settled at 102 minutes, let's go ahead and finish that. All righty. So here, you know, we'll 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 do this a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit harder of a question. If 75 minutes is too easy, we'll go over under. Just do like. Um, Let's see. Uh, 90. Mm. 90 minutes. Let's do 80. I think that's a little bit more. Uh, 85. 
You think so? 90? I'm going to go 90. I'm going to go over, over under 90. 90, yeah. 85, 90. That's, that's close. Yeah, so five minutes. A lot can happen in a five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. One is going to be over. And two is going to be under. There you go. Over under 90 minute game. All right, Bombers being cagey, just staying to the outside there. So it is interesting to note that he did barrel roll as four. F he did barrel roll as far forward as possible. I think he's maybe planning on just keeping them a little conga line there, right behind Vader. Vader mm -hmm. does two straights, and the Bombers just do one, just continue being behind him. Soon to hear sweeping in. So we might actually have a an engagement within the next couple turns here. If you haven't participated in the poll, we're doing over unders on a ninety minute game. All right, hard turn there for Mannequin. So, I mean, Nathan's just setting up some bait here, right? He's like, "Hey, you wanna you wanna attack this soon tier?" And then Vader comes in. Ah, I'm gonna get you. Vader's Stay like, you. "Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you came to play?" Yeah. No, like I said, I'm curious as to how fast you can get those bombers down. Yep. The faster those bombers go down, just the way better odds Nick has. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Nate, Nathan has has a couple turns to try to use all four ships to take down one of these Jedi in the same turn. Yeah. He's going to have to have to do that. And he's not going to get all four shots, let me be no. clear. He has four arcs to use to try to, try to get two to three. Right. Bud Gun Sniper. Thank you for the sip. Notice that uh, Obi Wan Kenobi does have an extra peg. He mm -hmm. has three pegs. He's on top. To Anakin's single peg. I have the high ground. He has the high ground, including above Darth Vader. Who is now in second? Mm hmm. Somebody in the chat saying, "Getting ready to go to a trivia night over the origin, over the original trilogy. Any ideas for random bits of knowledge they might ask about? How many? How many? Um, levers did Obi Wan have to pull?" to turn off the shield generator. Mm. Anybody in the chat know that one? Also the docking bay for uh, Moss Eisley. I don't know. <laughs> that one's a more harder one. That's a harder one. Oh, was it the tractor beam he was turning off? Oh, it was the tractor beam. You're right. You mean tractor? See, that, that, they got me. Mm -hmm. They got me. Got you. <sighs> got you good. Uh, let's see. 
I do love I do love my lore in Star Wars, but like little details like that in trivia games always get me. It's like I don't I don't know. What color were the shoes on this character? Like, I don't care. I don't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I always have brain farts when I do that. Like, I know all the little tidbit knowledge, and then it's just like when I get to trivia night, it's just like my brain shuts down. Uh-huh. I'm just like, I know this question. Why can't I think of this? <laughs> yep. Four straight for the bombers. I think he he's planning on trying to circle a, circle around, maybe, mm-hmm. trying to do one of these, bring the bombers around, try to see if he can catch Nick in the middle of the board. Supernatural reflexes here from Obi Wan Kenobi. Two straight. That looks like a range three right now. Might be able to pick up a target lock if he thinks that Suntir is going to be there. But he's going to opt not to do that. There's the one turn from Suntir. Boosting to the left will get him out of the arc. But with Anakin coming, he might just want to barrel roll, then boost away. I think right, right, Nathan's just gonna is is just trying to tease him right now, just trying to see like what what can I get you to do? How can I get you to overextend a little bit? Mhm. I mean, it's it's a good call. Just bait and switch, bait and switch, bait and switch. Mhm. Three straight from Vader. Too straight for Mannequin. So I think they think it's going to be over, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, but right now, I mean, but barely, right? Yeah. 52 to 47. Barrel rolls away. They're always a. They give you that option to turn in, but not have mm-hmm. a little less distance than you would have if you had stayed where you were. It's a great way to range control, and we're gonna have a shot here. Two hits and plenty. All the green dice. <laughs> so first dice happen. At a hundred and one minute mark. Only took nineteen minutes. Mm-hmm. Not bad, not bad. I mean, faster, this... faster than I thought it was going. Yeah, for sure. Timo77760 asked, Dion, are these your dice? Would you sell the green? Absolutely. If, if, if you would like to buy the green dice, they are uh, they are open for negotiations. Just just give it. Give. Johannes is looking at me weird like, hey, if people want to buy corset green dice from me, they can have them. I can make you guys a, a keychain form of it. <laughs> They'll be shipped to you straight away. Free shipping. 
I just wish there was an easy way to ship these. Yeah, that's that's part. That's the toughest thing about them. <gasps> All right, here are the bombers. Three hard. Nathan is casting the net. One bank from Obi-Wan Kenobi. That was a boost, excuse me, supernatural boost with a four straight. I think he's trying to clip Vader. Yeah, I think so too. I wonder if the one bank will fit though. Rango Fett says to put the dice on eBay. I can do that. I can even like put little. I can get some gold sharpie and you know put a like GSP on a blank side for you, so you know that it's legit. I'm not just like buying some dice out of the uh, at my local store and it's legit gold squadron dice. That's right, they're gold <laughs> squadron dice. All right, one bank from Vader. Oh, oh hello. Hi. Hello, you're my, hello there. You're, you're, my, you're my new friend. <laughs> but none of these two want to be trading shots at the same time. Vader no. probably more so, but... Yeah, but Obi-Wan's like, I got regen, I'm okay. Yeah. Focus and using Vader's ability for a target lock. Oof. Anakin, three bank. Fine tune control barrel roll. Trying to put some hurt on Vader. Mm hmm. He'll have an unobstructed shot to Vader, and Soontir will have an obstructed shot to, from Soontir. There's the lock for the action. Let's get some dice rolling here. Wow, they're playing pretty aggressive. Yeah. This is interesting. I'm excited. Here we go. Oof. Whiff. Soon to your on Anakin. Four dice. Vader at Obi Wan Kenobi. Turns the hit to a crit. And it's not going to spend the focus. He wants to hold on to it for defense. Oof. Oh, no, he's going to go ahead and spend it. Yep. He's just trying to get the extra Two hits and a crit. Ooh. And takes it. Wow. Shields, Shields down. down. That's half points early. But, again, he has regen. Range three for Mannequin and Devader. Has force available. I think you spend it. He's going for it. He's going aggressive. Hit, hit, crit. Takes one. Shield. Vader taking a shield. That's pretty good for Vader. Mm hmm. Obi Wan, range one, four dice. Has the force available. Three. Oh. Ooh. Spend him. Has some force spend and him. no damage. Turns wow. out the force is really good. Oh, yeah. Did you know? Super ah, good. It's very, very good. That's exactly what Vader wanted. Green is checking his options there. It looks like he doesn't have anything. One's through the grass. Pink glass might glass. have one through the grass clouds. Yep. He's going to go ahead and fire those barrage rockets. Three dice versus three dice. And spends. And safe. Yeah, you're safe. <laughs> Cloud for good measure. Mm -hmm. Well, I think. If he can get more shots on Obi-Wan in the next round, this mm -hmm. is going to be a very, very... This was a very good engagement. Mm -hmm. It would be all depend on how this next engagement works. Do you think the too hard to the left fits for the bombers? Well, obviously the back one does. The green one. Yeah, I guess I'm talking about the pink. 
Oh, it's going to be super close. I think he's got it. I think he does, too. It, it's going to be super close, though. Do you just do the hard one to the left with Sunter? And just hide behind the glass cloud, and then you can chase Obi Wan after that. Or do you the hard one? Huh. I like that. I I like that move. I'm in. Yeah. And then Vader. Yeah, because Anakin wouldn't do anything like two sloop to the left. That'd be crazy. And I don't even think he would. Sunter would even mind. Nope. And Vader, I think you maybe just peel out and get turn around for another attack run. Mm-hmm. see somebody in the chat talking about the N1 Starfighter. Somebody called it ugly. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful ship. It's so pretty. Even with its uh, design flaws that have been uh, pointed out. The fact that the uh, Astromechs don't actually fit in the, like, in there's a, um, like, uh, cross sections of um, ships for episode one and you see the um, like the socket goes way far down and like the heads of the astromech actually gets is like on a pole almost yeah it's pretty really? it's pretty ridiculous I think it's a beautiful ship I love the Naboo Starfighter yeah. like literally when I, I I've been one that since day one I started playing this game yep and now that it, it, it's actually going to be a realistic thing in the game mm -hmm. I'm just I'm like I'm buying three let's do this yeah oh yeah yeah I'm, do we actually know what the PS5 one does I don't know yeah I'm kind of intrigued just because it adds something adds like a die or something so I'm kind of intrigued on it mm -hmm. that's I think that may be the thing I'm intrigued most about, but Anakin with Force and stuff like that seems pretty, seems, you know, as a good little, it's like, fun. fellowship. It seems fun. Yeah. Uh, we don't, yeah, we don't have a date for the fourth wave yet, but I would suspect July. I've been hearing some, July. Yeah, July, and then there will be a, a, a pre-release for Wave 5 at Gen, Gen Con. Con. Yeah. Yeah. And then it would probably be very shortly in a month after that probably mm -hmm. probably late September maybe October agreed Here, let me uh, let me get my stuff out of the, their way yeah. over there you got it okay cool No, just that one and the, the lock that got left behind. All right, here we go. Three bank from the green bomber. Getting aggressive there, trying to press that advantage of being rid of those shields. So pink and green looking to be covering Anakin. All right, too hard here using the side to side method. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Looks like with some barrel roll boost action, be able to get a shot and avoid any. Actually, you might just be able to just boost. There it is. Just a boost. Target locks for the action after the fine-tuned. And soon tier. Using that three sloop.
Casting that net for Anakin. Vader coming in. 4K. You got a big concentration of arcs right there in the center. Let's see where Nick goes. Uh, Vader's going to go ahead and use afterburners. Oh, no, he's sorry. He's marking him. Three bank away. I got it. I was like, whoa, that's, that was really aggressive. All right. Three bank. Sitting range one. Fixing the placement position. Nick debating his actions. So one thing that's interesting here is, you know, Nick has the option to barrel roll to the right and be out of the arcs. But something that Nathan's kind of doing is he's he's hurting him. He's, he's, he's kind of like pushing him into the corner at this point with, uh, with his positioning, which... You know, you generally don't want to get one of your ships trapped in the corner. That's how you die when you have limited movement potential. But that's what see, that's what, kind of what I feel like Nathan's trying to get Nick to do. So Vader K turned, Sunter slooped. <laughs> that was a it was a sloop for Sunter, right? Yeah. Okay. Range three obstructed from Obi Wan. A uh, two Obi Wan from Suntier. And nothing there for Suntier. Vader has a shot as well. One. Has to use a force. <laughs> Range one from Obi Wan into the bomber. Number pink. That's hit hit crit. He's, he's gonna go ahead and spend the lock. See if he can get a full string here. There it is. Three hits and a crit coming in. Spend the focus takes hit crit. Let's see what that crit is. Structural damage. That is tough. Green is out. So soon to here has the hard turn to the left available to pursue Obi-Wan if he wants it. <laughs> Make Nathan use the app? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> what? Like, outside of the final and a really persistent player, the dice app is not allowed on my stream. Not anymore. I'm done with it. <laughs> like, there's a set of ground rules when I ask you to play on stream. Like, these are the things you're agreeing to. Yeah? Okay, cool. We're good. Yeah, and uh, one of them is no dice. <laughs> I like having your own dice pool. Yeah, I just keep the same dice pool. It makes it easy. Also, being like you don't lose your dice. Also, like you know, like hey, you just leave these here, yep. no problem. clear dice the real fun Bobby trolling in the chat one of our regulars I have a question for your chat how many gold squadron podcast streams do you think you have watched not on YouTube but live how many live events have you watched 
I don't even have enough fingers and toes for that. How about this? H have you watched more than 10? 10. Ten. <laughs> Chewbacca, one, one million. You know it would be cool? No, just started. Well, welcome. It'd be cool if you had like a uh, how many times you did it, and you can like do like a little program where how many times you get it, you collect it all up. Do a little and then when you get to incentive. sixty-six, you can say I execute. I execute you. <laughs> <laughs> you and then once you, you watch like the little emoji thing <laughs> on, on the Twitch thing, that'd be pretty cool. I could see. Get a little palp team. <laughs> We have the power. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So keeping the bomber slow. Here comes Obi Wan. Supernatural boost. Getting out of town. Yep. These these ships are very run and gun. He did regen one of his shields. Yep. Maybe two. It's kind of hard to see. I think it's just one. Because you can tell kind of that it's Yeah, flipped it's flipped the other side. You're right. Good eye. Good eye. <laughs> Enough that my wife recognizes the stream and Dion's voice. That's way too many. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nah. I mean, that's, that's, that's awesome. I mean, we're, we're in, we've, we've really moved into this internet age, right? Where, like, yeah. you know, it's, not, it's like a sport now. Yeah. People, people expect it. And we'll be here. Yeah. Gold Squadron Podcast. We love you. We'll be here.
three hard here from number pink. Putting pressure on Obi-Wan. So Nathan decided to split up the bombers. I wonder if the strategy here is keep one of the aces and one of the bombers together. At least in this point, right? So you kind of have an ace and a bomber both yeah. trying to keep arcs on uh, each of these Jedi. Though you want to try and negate it to a point where you can converge all of them at the same time, too. Because mm -hmm. you need that as many arcs as possible. And I think you need more than two to make the... To make the... Uh, the Jedi pop. Mm-hmm. Agreed. Was Obi Wan doing? He's got supernatural. Hmm. Now this hesitation makes me a little nervous for Nick. Yeah. Probably means that he did something. Oh, he's just hard wanting. Okay. Hmm. That's in range three. Or range two right now. He's, gonna he's just going to try to go in for a shot. A little quieter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Nathan has Gonna try to boost in here. No shot there. Takes a focus. So no barrage here. It'll be a range one with a mm -hmm. focus. Soon tier. Did he turn in? Hard one. There it is. Nick will have the obstruction from the gas cloud. Obviously, I don't think soon tier can barrel roll and boost uh, around that rock. So I just think he hopes for two blinks. <laughs> Just take a focus. Thank you, Aurelius. Now, question. Mm -hmm. Do you barrel roll to the left or to the right? Maybe go to the right, and then you can do a hard one again. Because you know this shot's going to be obstructed. Obi-Wan's going to go that way. So he's deciding to just barrel roll. So he's doing exactly what I thought he was going to do. Barrel roll to the left, or to the right. Mm -hmm. And then he's just going to get that hard one next turn. Mm -hmm. And keep chasing Obi-Wan. Looking at his options there. It was still range two, so. Yeah. It's not changing that, it's just setting up himself for next turn. Yep. Oh, he's actually going to go forward. Now he's got the hard two next turn, so. All right, and boost in. That's going to give him range one unobstructed, I believe. Mm -hmm. No mods. But you never know. But, but yeah. And this will also set him up for next round because he can just do the two hard. Yep. yep. Just keep chasing Obi-Wan. Vader coming in as well. So Nathan may have caught Nick being a little greedy. Mm-hmm. That's a lock from Vader. Force for the focus. Anakin, can he come in and do some damage? Save his master. Not without getting attacked by a barrage rocket. <laughs> I think at, at this point, if he thinks that Obi-Wan is in actual danger, you bring in Anakin. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's time to converge. Let's see what this shot does. Two, two Not hits. Bad. That's average. And Oof, he's going to take, take at least one. one. Shields are down on Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's half points. 49-0. Nathan Knighty. Here we go. Hit, hit, crit. Oof. From the bomber. Excuse me. This is from Vader. Oof. He's gone. Vader takes out Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oof. 
Nick Ouch. Tobin loses Obi Wan Kenobi. Ouch. The pain might not be over either. <laughs> and we have Anakin firing at range two. Takes a crit on the bomber, unless he spends a focus. Now I no, am the you master. Take, you take a crit, I think. Use the, and then do the barrage rockets. I mean, Anakin has, mm, yeah, I mean, you're probably right. Start making him spend that R2. Yeah. The worst thing you would get is a blinded pilot, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, playing the is pretty bad. You can't modify the dice. Yeah, because the next turn you can just repair 5K. or whatever. Because at this point, it gets soon to around to keep chasing Anakin. You take Vader, you regen your force, then you go back after Anakin. The mm -hmm. Barrage Rockets, turn him around. Two hits, nothing. Sorry, two blanks. He played very conservatively. I would have done the barrage rockets. So Nathan up ninety-eight to zero. Now Anakin has the advantage of being able to move last, but it is four on one, mm -hmm. with seventy-one minutes left in the round. Now Nick has plenty of time. He's just gonna have to use the time to try to uh, try to whittle them down. Yep. He needs to get Sunter off. Uh huh. And the the Braj bombers off. Is he needs he needs a few of these these non shielded ships off the board. He did. He did. He dealt the uh, the damage cards. They're just in a yeah. stack. Yeah, they're just in a stack. Yeah, including the direct damage, direct hit. See a couple people are saying that the Obi Wan shot from Vader may have been obstructed. Um, I saw the slight angle you guys were talking about, but Obi Wan was more than just the very edge mm -hmm. of the base sticking out from the rock. It would not have been obstructed if they had laid down a, uh, a, simple, a, line. La a simple laser would have done. Yeah, that it's not. Yeah. But Nick still has a chance. You know, this is we always here when I do streaming you guys know that I try to give both players their win conditions and you see Nick has not extended the hand in no. any in any way um, he has a ship that can throw three dice and can very quickly if he can get down both barrage rocket bombers take them out and he's only dealing with Sunter and Vader his his chances go up exponentially look you have a full Anakin mm -hmm. and he's with still regen with still. regens yeah I mean this he's potentially a nine hole ship right now mm -hmm. it's like almost like a defender except without the evade yep. and then thing that's literally the only difference and it's a lot more maneuverable than than the defender in a lot of ways and the number one thing we cannot forget he's a chosen one yes so <laughs> our theme he has a chance The game definitely was not over 50 minutes ago. I hate to tell you that. <laughs> this is still actually can this, be a this game. Is, this is still a game, for sure. <gasps> Nick no. Mock over there, coughing up a lung. You know, one time I did take a Omega Leader and I did down a full almost a full ghost <laughs> and the pod all in just by itself as long as you got the time there's a lot of things that can happen in a game oh yeah so you can fight your way back it's just 
long struggle. So Vader target locks Anakin. Hard turn two here from Suntir. It's interesting to see how Nathan has these set up. So he has Vader in a spot where if if Anakin had done something like a two sloop to try to just get that bomber, who was it was kind of an obvious move of turning in there, uh, Vader would be cr coming in the following turn to punish him for it. So watch out for those uh, those moves there. So right now he's gonna go ahead and fine tuned barrel roll. He's going to go after Vader. Hey, you, you get all the shots you can. Yep. He has a shot. He has a target lock out there. That's the A. A for Anakin. Range 2 unobstructed on Vader. Or range 3 on Fell. He's going at Vader. He's... He's going through... His options again. Yep, just double checking. Still, Vader's the best choice. Oof. Okay. So he's not probably going to spend. He's going to lock all of them. Oof. Poof. Oof. Takes a crit. There you go. Shields down. Wow. If it, just think if you only got one more. Yeah. That would have been perfect. That would have been a dream come true for Nick. I'm just saying. The game's not over. No. <laughs> it's definitely not over. <laughs> I mean, this isn't the Sunter of old. No. This is the no. Sunter of new. Yep. Even though Sunterfell is the legend. Yes. He can go pop. Just, yes. like, just like any ship. Bombers can go fast, too. Yeah, and I think the the reason for not spending the force there is he wants to make sure that each turn he has one available for fine tune controls yes. and have the other two available for defense. Yep. Doesn't want to get too aggressive. But there may be a time when it comes down to it that he has to he will have to try and make that call and go over yep. and do it cuz yeah, you want to try to always have two, two available unless mm -hmm. you know you're not going to get shot for a couple turns. Yep. With four ships on the table, though, you, you you need that for defense. Well, he can do it still with four on the table, but he just has to make sure he has an avenue out mm -hmm. on the next one where right. he's not going to get shots. So it's just, it's doable. It's just you have to wait to that right moment. They get he's they're over an hour. That's a lot of time. Mm -hmm. That's like basically just. Just starting a, a fresh game. Yeah, we just started. We just started a new game. Game two of the final. The reason why they don't have hate on Anakin. This is, is good, Anakin. <laughs> well, it's good, Anakin. And two, regenning. Yep, yeah, there you go. That guy just said it. Regenning what? Anakin with hate. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> As someone that likes playing aces, mm -hmm. I'm so out. <laughs> That'd be so broken. And it, it is important to note that Nick only has to destroy a hundred uh, ninety-nine points. Right. Right. Um, if we kind of look at the breakdown there, he could take out. Let's see if he takes out two of the bombers. That's going to be, that's 74. So you can do 74 and half, half of Vader. Half points Vader. Yep. That does it. You can do... Half points on Sunter? No. You can take out Vader and one of the uh, of the bombers is another, another option as well. Yeah. Which might be a more realistic option. Yeah. MG Rockwell, good Anakin in quotation marks. This 
This is before that. I mean, he was choking people at this time. <laughs> no, he's a few weeks before. Did you not watch the Clone Wars? <laughs> I mean, yeah, she can choke people. That's fine. <laughs> Listen, if there was a camera following Yoda everywhere he went, I doubt everything he did was above board, okay? I mean... I'm just saying, that little green man was not perfect by any stretch of the means. Oh. Didn't even didn't even know that Palpatine was a Sith Lord and all the mighty Jedi. Yeah. F you fools. Your arrogance blinds you. Yes, there it is. <laughs> All right, one straight for the bomber. <laughs> one bank from the green bomber. All right. There is the talent roll from Vader. No afterburners. Oh, he's going to. Oh, he is going to afterburners. He is. That is a kill box for Anakin. Check that out. Because you know what move? It kind of looked like a. It kind of looked like a five straight into the bomber before yeah. until you see all this unravel. You go, oh, maybe not. <laughs> the only. You got to get out, Annie. Hard turn away, Annie. Maybe a three bank in, actually, and then a boost. Might work. Go ahead, draw it. What do you, what do you mean? Like, he comes in with a three bank and okay. then boost out. Yeah. Oh, well, you're still be. gonna get shot by the bomber, but I guess one one is better than four. <laughs> All right. So Suntier is gonna stay right where he's at. Anakin is gonna be up. Two straight. What? Anakin is in okay. five arcs. This, Boo, this is barrels. crazy. Barrels. Don't do really much. Barrel to the. Let's see. You have to barrel roll to the right. To <laughs> so again, we're all friends here. Nathan's like, you're in three bullseyes. <laughs> I'm barrel roll to the right. Get the obstruction. On one, go barrel, all the way back. Could he, could he barrel roll and boost right now? In five arcs. Yes, he's in five arcs. His own, including his own. <laughs> I'd go this way, barrel roll, back. Only if I knew. I, I can't tell there. No, if that's going to still back. be an arc. I think it's still an arc. Not, not even a first edition barrel roll would get you out of that arc barrel rolling. Yeah, so maybe just barrel roll over and then in. He's just trying to go to the inside. So still in four arcs. He's trying to see if he can fit the middle. Looks legit. He's going to try to fit the boost, which will get him out of soon tier's arc. So they've decided that it does not fit in the center. Ouch. He had to go in the middle, which now the boost forward might fit. Yeah. I think at this point you just try. That's going to be really close. It all depends on, I think, if he's going to hit the nub of Vader. It's, it's legitimately that close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
Nathan, if you're the real Anakin Skywalker, you could do two barrel rolls. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> In his in his teenage years, he forgot that spinning was in fact yeah, a, a good trick. trick. <laughs> Here we go. Soon tier into Anakin. Oh, I gotta bring the dice back up. Ooh. Just two. Oh, this might be a good shot for... Takes one. Shield. I mean, Anakin might not even die here. He has so much health. Yeah. Oof. This is Vader. Spending the lock. Oh, man. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Spends the force. Two hits, two crits. Spend it. He's just going to go ahead and take the crit. Fuel leak. Oh. Mm, I think I would have spent the focus. <laughs> or force. Range oh, one Vader. Excuse me. This is Anakin into Vader. Spends a force. Oof. Hit, hit, crit. Ooh, blanks. Oh, hit, hit crit. crit. Oh, oh, it could be it. Oh. Oh. Disabled power regulator. He already shot. <laughs> the crit is not dead. <laughs> that's, what, that's the players are saying. Here are the bombers. Range one. Focus for three. And there's the game. Well played. Well played. Congratulations, Nathan Idy, for his win of the Bloomington, Illinois Hyperspace Trial. And uh, I think one of the more important things you do have to note about is the fact that those of you who chose over 90 minutes, how close were you? Let's see. Let's go back to the table here. So we were at 55. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was just under 90. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So, um, let me go ahead and pull up our giveaway machine because it is the final, and I promised you guys that I would give you some giveaways, so let me go ahead and do that before we cut off the cast. We had 800 people watching for this final. I want to thank every single one of you guys. If you want to participate in our giveaways, it's super easy. All you have to do is be talking in our Twitch chat. I know there's plenty of people who watch on YouTube. Hello, people watching on YouTube. And uh, that's where we, we house all of our um, our edited recordings of all of our YouTube games. Or, excuse me, of all of our Twitch games and our live streams. But if you want the best experience, you're going to definitely want to watch on Twitch. That's how you get all the giveaways. So let me go ahead and open up our, our giveaway machine. Dreaded Spectre 1 doing some cheers there. Thank you so much. So I'm giving a second for Nightbot to populate all of our uh, all of our names here. But we had a, a, a great time streaming uh, the Bloomington. Thank you to all the players who played and uh, hopefully behaved while they were uh, while we had the table mic open. <laughs> so, um, Johannes, yes, how do you think uh, your event went? Uh, I'm super excited. This is my first regional, like uh -huh. actually getting to TO. Yeah, uh, I've done plenty of store champs that were big, but uh, yeah, I everything went flawlessly as far as I can tell. So yes, I'm super, super, super excited that it actually nothing horrible went wrong. Yeah. So I think that's kind of how you always want your first big, big event to to go. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like right, you, yeah. you're under a lot of pressure. You know that a lot of people are coming. Yep. And uh, you asked me to come and stream. You're like, now you know people are going to be paying attention. Like, look, yeah, we no. almost a thousand people were watching for the final today, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So, uh, no, nope. You just got to take chances. That's, <laughs> that's the way life is. Take chances and hope everything pays off. And, <laughs> I hope this works. So, um, I have some cards we're going to give away. Sweet. Um, let me hey, give, give me a second. Can you do me a favor? Could you just crack open this? Yeah, just, just open it up. I don't know if the card, it should be a red card box. 
Is it not, it's not in that one. That means it's in the other plastic one. It's amongst my clothes. I'm sorry. Red box. There we go. Hand off from the marshal. Thank you so much. You want to say hi on stream? Huh? You want to come around and say hi? So the winner of our re of our regional was Nathan Idy. Congratulations. This is a hello from the marshal. Hi. So how was marshalling your first marshal event? Um, you know, it wasn't bad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> really, I mean, so we had such top-notch players, they kind of judged themselves. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it helps, right? And I, I was t talking with Johannes about it. Like, um, a lot of the... A lot of us in the Midwest, we know each other really well. Yeah. So it was like a big tournament of friends just kind of hanging out and yeah. doing stuff. So there was there was very little um, issues. Yeah. We'll put it little. that way. Okay. So you want to help me do some giveaways? Sure. Okay. So we're going to do some of these. We're going to do some of these. Let's see. Mm. Thinking about, I'm thinking about numbers in my head. Give me a second. No, that's all good. I'm gonna do those and that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. That's enough. Okay, cool. So we have 17 giveaways. Oh, all right. 17. 17. 17. There's a lot of people watching. Let's hook some people up. Cool. Now, if you do win, please type exclamation point win in the chat. Make sure to fully fill out the form there if you want to. Uh, Receive your prizes. You do need to make sure you fill out everything there. If when I go and do envelopes and stuff, if it's not right, I'm not going to reprint it. I can't. I don't have time. I don't, tell, tell him I don't yeah, have time. He's a busy man. <laughs> <laughs> I do, you get one chance. You get one chance. Okay. So um, we're going to give away. We got uh, five Finch Dallows and five Kylo Rens. Okay. okay? So your, your job. All right here is to uh, read the names okay okay you're gonna you're gonna read the names um, so and the reason I'm gonna have you do it is because if somebody loses or somebody's really upset that they didn't win it's your fault not oh, mine excellent right so that <laughs> I always hand this job out like hey, listen, I, I, listen, I, not my fault <laughs> all right here we go uh, so our first prize here we have a Finch Dallow okay Finch Dallow here we go three two one roll it uh, looks like uh, N.G. Murray. M.G. Murray. Congratulations. Exclamation point win to claim your prizes. We have another Finch Dallow. We actually have five of them. So here we go. Finch Dallow number two. Ready, set, go. Uh, M. Hammer R or 8R. There you go. Finch Dallow number three. If you guys want to help me out and... Uh, Tag the person who wins. That might be another way to notify. Because some people are getting caught off guard. Like, oh, wait, I won? Uh, at them. Help me out, chat. That'd be great. Uh, Finch Dallow number three. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Uh, Judulian91? <laughs> Judea Land91? Something like that. Here we go. Finch number four. Ready, set, go. Han shot first, 86. There, that, that was an easy one. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> And here we go. Finch Dallow, number four. Three, two, one, go. Uh, MC Rhea. There you go. Look at look at that thumbnail. Yeah. Classy. I, I'm a fan. <laughs> All right. We're going to move on over to the first order now. We have five Kylo Rens. Okay. GSP Kylo Rens. This is probably one of my favorite ones. You see his reflection oh, yeah. on the cockpit of the silencer. Like, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. sweet. All right. Here we go. Five of those. Three. Two, one. Cynical Gaming. Cynical Gaming. Congratulations. Kylo number two. Three, two, one. Faces of Derek. Faces of Derek. How many faces do you think he has? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. This is Kylo number three. Here we go. The Real Fun Bobby. The Real Fun Bobby. <laughs> Kylo number four. Duder 77. Dude. He's such a dude. All right. <laughs> Kylo number five. Three, two, one. King Chimp. 
King Chimp. Alrighty, we're gonna save that one. Right. Um, now we have some force tokens from. You, it's Docking Bay, right? Yeah, Docking Do Bay 309. Docking Bay 309. I don't. I. I keep saying. Wow. Where, where's the one that's? Uh, do you have a peeled one? It's. Oh, here I found. I found. I found maybe. I found. Ha ha ha! I was faster than you. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. So um, we got. Docking Bay 309 force charges. Okay. Okay. And there's one, two, three, four. We have five sets? Five sets. Okay. Let's see. Do these fit? Uh, may, maybe five sets. Do these fit to be mailed? Yes, they do. Yes, we do have five sets. <laughs> oh, okay. You, you want it like a full kit. Oh, okay. So wait, never mind. We have so we, have, we have one less. We have four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So here are some uh, docking bay three oh nine force charges. Again, exclamation point win to get the Google Doc to fill that out. I'm not accepting addresses any other way. Please do not email me. I know that sounds really it sounds really harsh, right? But the thing is like it's <laughs> don't the, talk e to me. It's <laughs> the like, don't contact me any other way about this just because it'll get lost. And like I I've I'm trying to like use as much time to make content as possible. Yeah. And like using time sifting through emails about prizes, it just took way too much time. I was like, this is the fastest way. I can just literally print it out of the list and go boom, 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 boom. Go. Way faster. Anyway, here we go. So we got four sets of those. Force charges number one. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Yakko 22. Yes. I will have to note that they unfortunately will not be coming in the uh, sweet Star Wars theme bags because I'll have to put them in an envelope. But I will carry them. <laughs> You'll know that they were in them. <laughs> and I'll use them for my, my my snacks. Peter, see you, man. See you at home. There we go. Set number two. Three, two, one, go. All right. Boom. Nakeolani? Nakeolani. Uh, M.G. Rockwell, it always feels kind of weird with the form because you can't see what you put in to verify you didn't do a typo. You you, you typed it. Check it before you submit it. <laughs> <laughs> Proofread beforehand. Yeah. Oh, it's a light side and a dark side. Uh, these are the curled paw ones. I mean, I, I, I approve of these. <laughs> 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 okay, cool. Crap. We gave away two. Okay. We gave away two. We're Johannes sorry. in the middle uh, middle of my thing. Here we go. Another set. Three, two, one. Whoosh. Uh, Nutano one. Nutano one. Set number four. Three, two, one. Go. Norby YT thirteen hundred. Set number five. Three, two, one. Go. Oh, oh, oh I click I clicked the wrong button. Uh, L four Starfighter. Or L four. Forced Starfighter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then we have we have two more giveaways uh, here. So we have looks the like, uh, the TO the TO's to jumping back so. in. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Then we have a and people have been clamoring for these. Do you have any more? I'm starting to run low on these. Oh. Yeah. Stocks running low. So. No. My boy Nick Mock here. He definitely got one when they <laughs> announced. Oh yeah. Well, he, he's also he's a patron, so yeah. he got he yeah, got one. Got so, one. Yeah. so um, here we go. But uh, here we go. Plastic po, plastic po. Remember, exclamation point win if you win. Three, two, one. Uh, go, Rebel oh. Diplomat. Congratulations. So it was kind of fair. Yeah. It was a good good name for. Uh, for so, that. There you go. All right. So do you do you want to? So we had. So okay. the giveaway started. Let me say what it started with so. a Luke Carrington painted Plo Koon. Super awesome. Super beautiful. You'll be getting the Come full the kit, by the way. So if you don't own the ship, like you get the dials and the cards, everything. You get the whole kit all together. Um. So, uh, super awesome. Gold Squadron. We have the paint cast. It's every Monday. And Thursday at 6 p.m. Central. If you haven't watched, you get to see basically all of our prize support ships are painted on the paint cast. He usually he has some other stuff that he paints sometimes, but anything that is um, that you see on there could be given. You could win it. 
Yeah, it's this really to, cool system. It's like a cycle. You could have right. came to my event and won it too. I mean, I had seven of them. They, one well, for each faction. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he he does so many good yeah. things. Like here's my one I just had him paint. There you go. It's like a Shelby Mustang version. That's beautiful. It is so nice. Yeah. Like he just does an amazing job. All right. So uh, so we had this, and yes. then uh, Johannes was like, "Let's sweeten the pot." Yes. So what else are you throwing in there? So. We, d we we talked about it a little bit earlier. Yep. Uh, so some people might be just tuning okay, in. So. so here we go. Friend friend dice. Yeah. Friend dice. So so you're you're gonna get two of these. Yep. One you can either a give out as like extra prize support at your thing, mm -hmm. and or the other one you can just give it to a buddy. Yep. That plays with you. That's right. So, and, and we uh, need a pic. We, we'd like a picture yeah, of yep, like you and the. Like, uh, Okay, with the <laughs> with, with the ship, with yep, the ship, with the ship. Okay, and so then, you got your your friendship dice. Let's go okay. ahead and put put those on top of there. Friendship dice, friendship dice. Oh. Oh. But and, uh, then, and then you threw in what else? So I did a lot of those dice. Let's just talk about the, the dice. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I want So we were gonna do a shout out for CAC. Yes, yes. absolutely. May eighteenth, May eighteenth. Uh, yes. I did a lot of these. They're gonna go probably all around the world. Oh yeah. So. Uh, just check out CAC. It's for a good cause. It's to help oh, yeah. fight cancer. Um, also, an another cool nit bit is I got to destroy World's Dice doing it. Yes. So there is a, a hidden like Easter egg in one of the packs going to the TOs of oh. the thing. So they'll be able to – one TO – is going to be able to show off that his store actually has a World's Dice keychain. <laughs> so – so that's the cool yeah, thing. Yeah, it's the it's which is it, can you say which world's dice it is? It is the silver old school ones. The, so, so the the silver um, defense dice. So these aren't like outer rim go. That's one because some people are like oh they just got outer, outer rim. No, these are nope. these are not. These are legit silver world's dice being yep. turned into uh, into them. But uh, yep. so yeah. So and, and then. We uh, so our group. We just gave away a bunch of force tokens. Yep. If you saw, those are our dark side force tokens. We actually made light side force tokens. There you go. That I did a long time ago. Uh, we did it for I think a store champ something like that. Mm -hmm. And they basically it's 309. Some of them still have a little bit of stuff you'll have to appeal, but yeah. Um, these are their curl Paul versions. Yeah. So I had two different acrylic makers make them. Curl Paul obviously yeah. doing an amazing job, okay. as always. You can. There you go. Yeah, there you go. So, yep. Document 309. 309. So, we're going to send the, since this is uh, a light side force user, there we're you sending go. the light side with this. So, you're getting the force tokens. five force tokens, the your dice. friendship dice keychains, yep. and, and the painted ship. Yep. Oh, this is a this is a lucky, lucky winner. Yep. Oh, and then from now on, I have a few other keychains yes. that he will be able to hand out. Uh, just as a reminder, CAC, it's an C -A -C. amazing cause. Actually, in um, our next episode, next Tuesday, our podcast episode is all about the Campaign Against right. Cancer. So it's Great. We're, it's all coming to a head just cause. to make sure that everybody's keeping it fresh in their mind. And if you can make it, um, please do. Unfortunately, I'm not available uh, I, like I'm not going to be streaming or at one of the right. events because it's a field trip for one of my. Because I'm still a teacher full time, guys. It's yep. not my full time gig yet. So, so it got it got moved. Uh, one was on my wife's birthday, and yep. <laughs> then it ended up getting moved, and um, now it's on my field trip day. But so, anyway, yeah. So basically, I have a bunch of these. I'm going to be giving out to Dion so he can send them. You'll be able They'll to be send included them in your probably more likely the painted ships to be given out. Yep, that's where we're, that's the plan here. Painted ships. Um, we'll, we'll have some friendship dice included or just one of them. Maybe we'll yeah, see, we'll see, we'll, we'll whatever, whatever yeah. feels good. Right. Yeah. And so, then, so yeah, there you go. This the, here's, here's, here's our stock Yep. and they'll be, uh, given out, given out later. Thank you so much, Johannes yep, no for, problem. for the, for the dono. Yep. <laughs> All right. You know what? Yes. I want, you, you can do it. You I can, can roll you, it? You, you I can, can hit the button. You, you get to hit the button. Sure. This, this is, is a lot like of responsibility. there's not a lot of people who get to hit this button. This is a lot of responsibility. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. All right. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Roll it. The real jazz man G. There you go. Has been following us on on Twitch since August 2017, and as a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. 
congratulations to everybody who uh, won our giveaways. Congratulations to Nathan Idy for winning the Bloomington, Illinois Regional. Thank you to everybody who was watching. Yep. Thank you to everybody who yep. helped organize the event and everybody who supports Gold Squadron. You guys are amazing. You can watch the coverage of this and all of our games on our YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed there, make sure to do that. If you want to get awesome swag while supporting the channel, you can go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. And thank you so much for everybody who support with, with their Twitch subscriptions, their Twitch Prime, their donations, everything. This doesn't happen without you guys. Our next transmission will be, I mean, of an event. Um, I actually think we have a couple couple weeks off. or I don't think there's anything next weekend because it's Mother's Day weekend. Okay. I thought you were doing a kit thing. Where there, is, there is a random kit on a yes. Sunday. Let's, uh, let's take a peek here at my, at my calendar. So, yeah, next weekend, next weekend is Mother's Day, gentlemen. Yep. Next Going weekend's Mother's Day. Make sure, just in case Buy you never flowers. remember, okay? Buy her flowers, she deserves them. <laughs> the 12th is Mother's Day. Um, she brought you into this world, she'll take you out of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So uh, n we won't. We don't have any events next weekend. Uh, the following weekend is the campaign against cancer on the 18th. Yep. So if you can go, make sure you go. Yes, go. On please. the 19th, we'll be streaming a store kit. Then the weekend after that, the 25th and the 26th, we'll be streaming live from the Atlanta System Open. Nice. And uh, we will be sponsored by Curled Park Creatives and District Foundry. So uh, we got some cool stuff go. coming there. Yeah. As well as there's the Atlanta Hawks party that's happening. We'll be, uh, we won't be streaming that, but I'll be taking some video and pictures, having a good time there. And uh, anybody who's going to be in Atlanta, I will see you. Found a <laughs> <laughs> I will see you there. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. My name is Dio Morales. For everybody here, Gold yep. Squadron.